what, one, la one last uh, <laughs> comment on that before we start. Imagine if they did a Super Bowl commercial where it's just a drink responsibly commercial and the tail end, it just has DoorDash liquor. Drink responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the YouTube video. <laughs> Ready? Hit record. <laughs> I would have got a liquor we deliver. <laughs> yeah, boy. Even fucking better, DoorDash, li the liquor we deliver. Yeah. The, the first 30 seconds well, is just I'm going to cut you guys <laughs> off and get us started. So that way we can get through it before it's like, yeah. Funny joke that is, but let's, let's kick this off. Uh... All right, last time. Uh, you guys uh, basically waited a day, had a long rest, watched as the uh, castle got shelled by a bunch of cannon balls, and you entered into the castle or fortification, and the entrance collapsed, trapping you inside of this place. And now it is just you guys inside the... Uh, bunker or fortification of the witch's uh, castle. And you're Ugh. in the main entrance. I think you are seen. Hang on, let me drag you guys. Ugh. You're in the main entrance and you see... Uh... Oh, I didn't realize Rick Sanchez was our oh DM. Oh my god, my ear! <laughs> what? Rick Sanchez is the DM. <laughs> I'm sorry, continue. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you're in the main entrance, um, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna take a look around. Okay. I'm gonna have my sword out so the light's casting. Um, it's actually out. pretty lit in here. Okay. <laughs> pretty lit. Happening, happening place, man. This place actually has electricity for some reason. You what? see in the ceiling there's chandeliers. Man, they're modern. With lights. <laughs> you see this tell What's those to shiny look... bulbs? To but one could question. Door. Yeah, mm -hmm. one could question. Who, uh, how are they powering this, you know? <laughs> this witch yeah. is trying to, just trying to one up you. I think you got a blaster with your fireball. Yeah. Little do you know, together we'll be more powerful. Oh. All right. I like yeah, the sound of that. That's my, that's my. Hat jingles with the bells on it. <laughs> but I feel lucky, baby. I feel lucky. Ah, uh, you fool. Does uh, anyone want to... Alright, so Nick, you're going up to that door. Yep, I was going to peek through the door. I'll, I'll, I'll peek you... through the door. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you go towards the door on the left, and you hear a humming sound behind it and I assume you try and open it yeah I'll see if like the doors unlocked first the door appears to not be able to open well this this door here is locked but there's something humming behind it uh, let me have a look <laughs> all right uh does it look like you... I can pick it it looks like that the door's lock is very unique, as it's just a big giant slit right under the knob. Hmm. Does it look like I can attempt to pick the lock? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Ooh, that's not bad. Um, sleight of hand. That's a plus nine, uh... You got a 9? 25. 25? Yeah. You try and jimmy the lock, but it seems like it is magical in nature. You are ah. unable to open it. Hey, Taldor. <laughs> yes? This uh, lock seems to be beyond my uh, my skill set. Uh, oh, but you, your... Liam, do recognize the shape of the lock oh, as it looks like it's shape like a dagger could fit in it looks like a dagger could fit in this uh, mm. 
Now that I think about it. I oh. have daggers, but I don't think my dagger is meant. I have uh, technically two, three daggers if you count the rope dart. Uh, does it look like any of my blades would fit in there? All right. Uh, before you attempt anything, Taldor, we'll go to uh, James' character because you're at that door. Do you want to like? Uh, so you go up to it. You don't really hear anything behind it. Do you want to open it or try to? I will attempt to open up the door. The door opens up at ease. All right. I have my sword and shield out. Um, does it look like? Does the light that's on my sword does that pull into? Does that flow into the room? Um, do I see anything? You see that there is a sign in the room. And it looks like it says Bone Depository. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Do you want to go in it? Uh, I will not go in the the, the Bone Depository. I don't want to go to the Bone Zone, if you know what I mean. Go to the Bone Zone. All right. Well, I guess you don't enter that room. I, uh... Remains a virgin till the end. Uh, Molotov, Taldor, there, and Sarah, what are you guys doing? Uh, what's this thing up here? That is a staircase leading up to a big violet door with golden stuff on it. I'm gonna check that out. I'm gonna go behind the door and sit for it. Okay. You see that there is an eye on the right side of the door with a slit on the pupil. And you see on the left that there is a lot of writing. Surprisingly, it's in many languages. Uh, do you speak, uh, Dwarf, Elvish, uh, Giant? Okay, well, you can read it then. It says, To enter the store, a soul must be offered. Oh. So. It says to open this door, a soul must be offered. So I, I'm gonna go, uh... I'm going to glance over at this guy over here. You should kill yourself now. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, no. I, I, I vote no. we kill the, the fireball wizard. No <laughs> I vote we don't do that. Uh, Taldor, nobody. <laughs> you were going to try and... Uh... I was not going to try anything. That was our dear friend Liam. I said <laughs> my, my knives don't fit in that hole. Okay. Uh, I figured maybe if I had one that was the right size, it might be able to fit in there. But uh, even the one on my wrist doesn't fit. I mean, you could. You you never got an answer from Rob. I don't think. What was your question? Uh, if like my snake fang dagger or my like my hidden blade would fit in the compartment to open the door. You can try. All right. Should I roll for each individual thing or like? Oh, you don't have to try. You can just insert it. Oh, okay. I insert it. What happens? You insert it. It does fit, but nothing happens. The door reacts with a sound of, uh, uh, you know, on checkout when you do your card thing and it denies your card. That's what it sounds like. Oh. Now I retract the blade back into my gauntlet. Just, hmm. Yeah. Perhaps a more magical knife you might have. Well, I don't have one, but I know of one, and I'm really hoping it's not here. <laughs> but, uh, you yeah. You can use the scroll again. That is a <laughs> different <laughs> world in a different lifetime. <laughs> I don't know what you're referring to. I have not come across the scroll. All right, well, you know now that the left and middle door have are locked. Be, uh, requires something to enter into the slit. Um, I'll. So I'll... This door, does one of us have to die? Is that what that means? I can't tell you that. You get to figure that out yourself. Um, I, I'll open back up the bone zone door. And is it like a shoot? If I walk inside, is it like a shoot? You walk inside. Oh shit. <laughs> Let me control Z <laughs> and, I'm and drag your actual thing. No, no, no. No, no, you're not dead. I just made a retard calculation. <laughs> Did it work? God dang it. Just drop it in there. How do I split parties up? 
Oh, can I just click on? No. I forgot how. Oh, you're already in there. All right, you enter the room. Of course, without your player model, because I didn't copy and paste. Okay, I'm there in spirit. And you see that it's really just a room with a chute at the end, but the chute looks kind of weird. Um, do you see it? I do see it. I see this. Uh, looks like um, like the the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> oh yeah. Kind of a little bit. A little Does bit. anyone else want to come into the room? Uh. I was gonna look at the door, but it, I think Mira left basically read the same thing I would read anyway, since I also know Elvish. Yeah, it has like a bunch of languages, like a like the back of a manual. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah but I will, does... I'll go take a look at what. Uh... I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna start walking towards the chute. Does everyone else want to come into the bone zone or I'm bone depository? <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, copy. The more the merrier. Welcome yeah. to the bone zone. <laughs> right, let me just get rid of this guy. There we go. Control C. Uh... There we go. All right. So you all enter, and you see that this is a bone depository. <clears throat> James's character walks up, and uh it looks stationary do you want to like investigate it or um uh sure i'll investigate it first roll of the night okay uh what does the seven get me oh god well it looks like a normal shoot with a hole in it how big is the hole Big enough to fit a large uh, a large person. A large person. We we going out of character. Are we going to the bone zone, guys? No. Um. Uh, I'm you do. You do, do hear I, humming on the other side of it, though. Do I hear humming? I'll stand like I'll put my my ear my head next to it. Like do does it sound like 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 machinery? Does it sound audible like a human or like a voice? As you put your ear up to it thing rattles and shakes and says what the hell are you doing <laughs> ah the trash chute is alive oh shit and it's freaking hungry he's hey. like yeah you're supposed to drop bones in me or something oh i got i got bones for you i have bones too um I'm hungry. I'm starving here. Oh, how about buddy. how about the little one get in my mouth? <laughs> well, I don't have any bones to give them all away. Um, I I got, I got an idea. I got an idea. I'm gonna take attempt the, a uh, I, I have, attempt I have, a. Uh, I'm gonna give him some you said, well, hang on. You said no. You don't have bones. Attempt a dex saving throw. Um, wait. I got a bronze ring with a middle finger. <laughs> Attempt a deck saving throw. Ooh. Um. Uh. How how about a twenty one? You actually dodge him trying to munch you. All right, all right, I I I got some I got some stuff I got some stuff. I'm gonna give him some shrooms. Okay. <laughs> I, have a, I have a handful of shrooms. I'm just letting he... it be known that I have ten bones. <laughs> you he eats the shrooms. And he doesn't mind it, but you hear a noise in the background saying, What the fuck is this? <laughs> in a different room. Um, I'll, I'll then throw the bronze ring with a middle finger on it. He's like, ah! This finger will do. Get this junk off the finger. Alright. I'll, I'll I take think a Master... The, the trash shoot says, I think Master's pleased. But do you have more bones? I, I, I do. <laughs> How many do you require? All of them. Uh, in fact, put yourself in. Nah, nah, I got some good ones here for you. I got 10 bones and 60 bone fragments. Alright, well, as you put it in, make a deck saving throw. Okay, uh, dexterity... 
am I not? Oh. Uh, that is a 14. Uh, you barely fail, and you actually get sucked in. Jeez. And now you're on a conveyor belt. Oh. Did I not control V? Uh, I didn't copy you. Hang on, I gotta copy you. Control C. Then control V. Uh, damn it. So many shit on the screen. Hang on. Uh, what you see is that you're on a conveyor belt and you see a whole ass operation going on. Uh,. Uh, I forgot to put NPCs. We'll put a couple here. There we go. Okay, and then we'll grab uh, this guy. Okay. All right, you uh, we'll put this person here. Oh shit, you're already moving. Oh, that's where the other guy went. All right, there we go. I am. I am fumbling here. But yeah, you're let me bring a character into this room. Which one are you? There you are, the Godzilla. Why did it make me take you over there? There we go. Alright, you enter the room through the chute and you see an operation going on where a conveyor belt of bones and other stuff that your friend threw in there uh, is moving through a line with creatures which looks like the scarecrows, uh, basically discerning what is bone, what is not bone, to continue forward. And you see uh, many different uh, operations going on. Can I very quickly throw the uh, scarecrow mask on? Sure. I'll do that. Oh, and make a stealth, because there's not just scarecrows here. Okay. As for the rest of you, uh, your friend gets sucked down. He doesn't look, sound like he's in pain or screaming his head off. Uh, the trash chute says, yum, 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 yum. More. I walk up to it, and I, I whisper to it, if you eat me, I will destroy you. Make a deck saving throw. Uh, hang on, uh, I'm just talking to it right oh, now. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking to it. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> and I am going to put in my 20 bones and my 130 bone fragments. Oh, he opens his mouth wide. Would you like to step in? Will I die? Did Austin die? He doesn't I, know that. I don't know. Well, are you willing to go inside of him? <laughs> <He's in the laughs> are you? Is, is the, All right, the, it's one of the those things. Say, would you like to step inside, or, or is that you saying that? <laughs> the the trash you says, would you like to enter? <laughs> I, <laughs> you can trust me. I'm a green trash can. <laughs> Overpriced waste management bullshit. <laughs> you go in. Oh, I gotta copy your character. <laughs> That's okay, I can just copy it from a different area. You enter, and you didn't get as much of a rough time going in, because he had too many bones inside of him. So, mm. yeah, but you do see now what Austin sees, if I can just bleh, drop you over. There we go. You enter the room, and it's like, a, it's like an industrious place, a factory. You fall forward... Uh, behind Liam as he has a scarecrow mask on and you see the scarecrows mind their business trying to organize the bones and junk that your friend sent in there. But yes. Uh, uh, is there anything you want to do before I move on to another person? Uh, I'm going to hop off the conveyor belt and then walk up to the scarecrow. And then I'm going to start a dialogue with it, but you should go to the other people. Okay. Anyone else want to confront the trash man or machine? Danny DeVito. <laughs> so are what? we just going to stand here and watch them disappear through a trash can? Or... I don't see you I doing anything. I walked right in. 
Trash Man says, it's a win situation for both of us. I get fed, and you go somewhere else. Where that is, I don't know. I, I was built with only eyes in the front, you know? <laughs> Whatever. I got the dog over there. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna... Uh, I'll go me. for it, as well. Yeah, I'll do it, too. I'm not... Yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm gonna We're actually. Oh, well, just like, all right, fuck it. <laughs> you shove your I'm actually gonna push Kristoff in. <laughs> uh, can I dodge that? Uh, roll. Cause I got attacked. Sure, with disadvantage, cause the trash chute is assisting by trying to engulf you. Uh, you probably. I rolled a. What am I adding to to this? Cause I rolled a fourteen. Uh, I think this is like an invasion. Like you're trying to stop. Dodge oh, is shoving. Dex? Uh, so 16 yeah. altogether. Oh, you actually succeed. And you go or Actually, Molotov, would you roll for like... Your dex? I want to see how hard or fast you pushed. Well, my dex or my strength? You know it's strength, because it takes a lot of strength to move a man. Like, Unfortunately, uh, James. only 13 unless I'm using... Uh... Yeah, no, only 13. Ah, uh, well, he evades both of you and, uh, the trash thing, but you guys all enter, apart from Chris, uh, Christoph for some reason, into the <laughs> trash man. Or machine. Well, I guess you're just there alone. I'll, I'll, I'll hop in right at, once they get inside. They're inside, uh... Oh, God. You enter a factory. All of you, except Kristoff for some reason. And you, uh, see what I just described before. Is that fucking Willy Wonka at the back? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't pay no attention to such thing yet. <laughs> Is that a power pay no star? attention to the man behind the machine. They do nothing. <laughs> but yes. Right. Um, Went from D&D to, uh, but, uh, Scarecrow Pal uh, World. I will hop, is, I will is, hop is in. Is that a power star I see? Uh, you have to get closer to find out. Okay. Um, Rob, I will hop in at some point. After they get right. out, I'll, yeah. You hop in. Yeah. Oh, that's, that, oh, that's that chick. That's that chick with the eyes. Who? I'll say, <laughs> screw it, I'll just hop on the follow hammer bro. <laughs> All right. Uh, what are you the guys person, doing? Because it looks, it seems like the scarecrows are preoccupied. Oh yeah, Taldor was talking to him, that's right. Uh, we'll go to Taldor first, then Molotok, and then down the line. Alright, Taldor, you were doing something. Uh, excuse me, sir. I just made a deposit of significant amount. Uh, could you point me in the direction of whoever's in charge? Oh, uh, the highest in command, he looks around, oh shit, there's not a lot of people anymore. Uh, the highest in command, uh, would be the person that's, uh, what's it called? Administering souls into our latest constructs. And what's where, that? in which direction do I walk for that? North past the conveyor belt. Thank you, sir. I will be on my way. All right, and Molotov. Okay, so uh, is this doing any like mashing things that I have to care about? Oh, that is mashing totally. Okay, it's well, actually I... living too, and he's not having a good time. Okay, so I, I, I ride it now. to get a little faster and then get closer. Uh, do I see see what that is now? Uh, you take a look at it, and it's shaped like what you know is a power star. But it looks like it's just an energy source that this person, uh, every time a, uh, a fully constructed construct is pushed out of this red room, it's administered energy and then something from this dagger that's holding. And after it administers whatever's from the dagger, it breathes as if it's alive and moves on to this room. Okay. Yeah, um... let me just, I might as well start putting these guys here that are coming out. And then we'll put one here, and these are just the finished builds. There we go. But yes, it looks like they're making these bone warrior constructs in this factory. Do I get a sending stone signal in here? Sure, you can send. Okay, um, 
what exactly are you requesting? I forgot. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have... Uh, Uh, power star found send everybody make sure at least one mage has uh what's the uh move earth spell uh, uh one earth. mage has a spell to get into the building it's sealed behind us and a mage with uh, a magic koopa with enlarge just okay. bring everybody <laughs> you get a whisper back saying on our way They'll, they'll be working their way into the building. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna totally build their way. Um, but while in the meantime, everyone else, what are y'all doing? Uh, I'm going to, with my and slip up yeah. here and just kind of catch up to everybody and look at what's going on. You um, walk over the sad machine as it is basically mashing up what he feels like is broken glass. Say, hey man, watch where you're going. I am going to attempt to talk to this person, and I'm going to point my staff at the at the star. Is the star in something? Oh, that's not a star, but it's drawing energy from the star. I'm the whatever whatever the power source is. I'm pointing my staff at it. Okay. I'm going to tell them. Direct me to the top, or this dies. Uh, seeing as how as I am surrounded, uh, the only way to get to a top is using a special dagger, and I have been administered that special dagger. But I don't think you may have clearance. Who are you guys again? Hand it over, or the star gets, or whatever the I, fucking thing gets it. I pull out my hammer, and if they don't hand it over, I'm gonna start smacking, like smacking them. Oh well. Uh, they took too long. Do I recognize They're this dagger? Bullshit, dude! You fucking wait your turn. It's okay because uh, I'm not letting you destroy the star. I am sure. destroying the star. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, yeah. yeah, and I'm like, no, I'm destroying the star. The alarm goes off, and a few of these nightmares come out from the door. It's like, what? <laughs> so, uh, let's go. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, roll for initiative. Destroy this star, tell door. I got this. Uh, uh, if you knock it unconscious, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Pokemon. Are you trying to catch a nightmare? Yeah. <laughs> she'll, have a, she'll have a mount that way. Man, she's out here playing cat. I, good, and I love it. Yeah, let me make sure. I have I everything. She, uh, Sarah's like, I'm, I'm an off all. position for this. Yeah, I forgot that. I'm in part of the worst position for this. <laughs> Nightmare. I forgot. There you are. <laughs> Let me take a picture of that. But I still have the Scarecrow mask on. You do, but like, um, I think they have a very good idea that the six of you guys are probably not welcomed here. Um, are we rolling for initiative? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry. That's what we. Are. I gotta take a picture while you guys are doing that of the nightmare stats. There we go. Okay. All right, let me jot down everyone. Uh, why won't you let me add you to turn? There we go. Add to turn. Add to turn. Gosh, hang on, let me scroll up. There we go. Add to turn. I'll add this guy to turn, but these two are actually uh are not capacitated yet so we'll just X these guys because they don't they're not doing anything. 
they haven't been turned on yet. There we go. And these guys, uh, we'll add them. What a, um, what a turn of events. I mean, you know, it was just gonna happen eventually. Part, part, okay. Part. <laughs> Alright, what do we all get? I got an 11. Okay, you got an 11. Oh, that's fine, you're already at 11. Uh, Sarah got 15. Uh, was that plus anything? Uh, I don't know what she's asking right now. Um, well, I'm just gonna type in 15 for now. Yeah, she has 15. Uh, Matt got 21. And Kristoff got a five. Awesome. <laughs> um, where are you? There you are. Hey, it's better than three. Uh, John got a 16. That's cool. And okay, I think I got everyone's done. Let's do the uh, monsters. Oh well, that sucks for him. There. Three. You got my 20, right? You got 20? Alright, I'll add that. There we go. Okay. Uh, Alright, time to start from descending order. Uh, Nick, go ahead. What do you want to do your turn in combat? Uh, 5, 10, 15. And we're going to go take some swings at the nightmare here. All right, go ahead. All right, give me one second here. Actions. Uh, going to do the Draconic Strike. Or actually. Uh, da, 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 da. do that. Sorry, I'm, I'm double checking something here. Yeah, no, I'm just going to go for the strike so does a 13 hit uh a 13 uh matches it so i'll count it yeah to hit okay all right that's going to be uh 10 cold damage uh oh uh, and then yep. the second swing is a 20 dirty a dirty 20 that's for a uh, another 11 cold. Okay. And then going to bonus action, Fury of Blow, uh, Fury of Blow, so it's our two attacks. Okay. The uh, 13 and a 16 for those, those are two hits. Cool. And then hey. that's another 8 plus 9, 17 cold. 17 cold, oof. That's all she wrote. Thirty, twenty-eight. Wow, he basically took more than half sure. his health. Actually, hold on. Uh, Knock it out. Knock it out. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I, I forgot. I have action surge because of oh, the fighter dip. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I'll go ahead and use action surge and try to just what, kill this thing outright. Uh, okay. No. Not gonna fuck. <laughs> There's, There's a one. second one. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. Uh, does a uh, so it's a twenty for the first uh regular attack for six uh cold damage. Oh my gosh! There we go. And then that's a twenty-two for the second hit for uh ten cold, and then I'm also going to burn. Where is it here? Uh, uh, Strike of the Giants for an additional D10. So it's going to be uh, 12 cold right there overall. Uh... So the the fourth uh, attack was uh, 10 plus uh, an additional 2 damage. 
Okay, okay, so he has 10 health left. Alright, cool. Oh, wow. And that's it. <laughs> and yeah, no, that is everything I got. You just smacked his shit out of one of those nightmares, man. <laughs> Alright, uh... It looked at me funny. <laughs> <laughs> it came in not knowing that it offended you. Alright, uh... Aaron, it's your turn. <laughs> okay, um... I'm gonna go here and grab the power star. That's not a power star. I'm gonna it's... grab the power source. All right, you, you try. Said I know it to be a power star, so. Well, it looks to be a power star, but it's not the power star. All right. Well, I'm going it's... to grab it. All right, you grab the panel. And uh, you rip it off from the uh, from the desk it's on. And yeah, you're holding on to a panel with what it looks like a power star. Oh, but so it's a print of a power star on a panel. It, it has a design to symbolize that it's probably taking power from the power star that might be in this building, but this is not the power star. Oh, okay. You you know what it is when you see it. <laughs> okay. But uh, yeah. But okay, it's a um... good hint that it's here somewhere. Okay, I was not aware. I, I thought it was... <laughs> the army for a false alarm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he described it poorly before, so that's my oh. bad. Yeah, you saw the... He's, he said it's not. You said, like, he. you said... Blah, he said, I know what? it to be a power star, and then said, after I called okay. it, no, no, I said, power. you know what looks to be a power oh. star, because you know what a power star looks like. Now these guys know what it looks like. They're not from the Koopa land. <laughs> okay. So that is my bad. I should have probably chosen much more clear words, but okay. it is okay, a good well, hit. Either way, I here. destroyed the thing. You destroy it, it fizzles out, and uh, uh, you hear a lot of gasping noises from it. Like, uh... Like, like relief. That's concerning. Uh, I'm gonna smack her with it. All right. Do the attack roll. Yeah, I think I don't add my proficiency for an improvised weapon, right? That's okay. This is a uh, this is not the same thing that you guys fought before, so don't worry. <laughs> so he claims. Uh, we yeah. also can't see the entire turn order for everybody. We just see the enemy's turn order. Oh. Oh, uh, that's from an old, uh... I I'm not gonna change it because that required me to retype in numbers, but the turn order is there, trust me. Um... I mean, we have all the numbers of ourselves that's over here, the so... So does a 14 hit her? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know how much damage a panel does. What what do I roll? Oh, uh, 1d10. It's a... You Never ripped it done. out. It's a big <laughs> one object. Okay, that's... Uh, uh, a, that. a, I that think that's curve. a... I think that's a 9? Oh, you knocked this intern out cold. Okay. You just heard to do your internship and a bunch of random people busted and smacked you in the right, face uh, with the panel. <laughs> we can loot her dagger later. Yeah, uh, yeah, she drops the dagger on the ground. Yep. Uh, Poor I pull out my hammer. Four years in sorcery school and this is why I get And I smack him with the hammer. Alright, uh... Uh, well, actually, I probably don't do that. I think that's my turn. I don't think ripping a panel off counts as a bonus action. Yeah, uh, you'll probably have to wait. Yeah, I think I I think I already did more than enough. Yes. Um, <laughs> where did the turn order go? Did I just? There you are. All right. The next turn is Scarecrow down there. Uh, he's gonna go up to you, Mr. Kristoff, hopping over the thing and try and strike you. Oh, he rolled a two. I, I don't 19, think that's gonna hit. 19 AC, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 19 AC. Does he have a second attack is the question. Uh, why... Why does this thing not want to work? Blech. There you are. 
All right, does a, I think he has a second attack. Yes, he does. Does a, oh, no, that doesn't hit. He whiffs both times. It's now Taldor's turn. I'm gonna pull out the second staff. Oh no. Uh oh. And I'm gonna cast me a fireball. Oh, where exactly? Somewhere over here? <laughs> I think that's. It's a radius of 20 feet, right? Yeah. Uh, just aim at the wall, and it should be just 20 feet exactly about hitting your friends. There you go. Yeah, it'll, it'll hit all of those bad Probably guys. Even better, it'll hit that guy, too. Yeah. Yes. So I... I cast my fireball right here. For, no, it's right there. All right, uh, I you forgot. Did... Make a DC save or a deck save of 16 or higher. Well, the construct failed. Um, let's roll for Nightmare. Nightmare 1 and 2. Uh, Nightmare 1 rolled a nat. And the other one rolled a 14. Uh, what was the DC save again? 16. Oh, well, only one of them succeeded, and it was this guy who was already damaged. Well, they take 31 damage. All of them? All of them. And clean one who... That is 31 dam gets 31 damage delta. Oh, back. okay. Half of that on a success. Yeah. Well, either way, well, the, the guy who succeeded is dead. The other one dead. succeeded, but he's dead, so it doesn't Yeah. Matter. So, show, he's barely alive, uh, this guy has, uh, the, this guy is straight up just dead. Alright, you, you shoot against a wall, bounce off, does some collateral damage, you know, and kills one of the nightmares. Uh, is that your turn? That is going to be my turn. Sarah, it's your turn. Uh, get him down to low health, and uh, you know, just do an unarmed, a non-lethal attack. You know, when not you get him down to low health? Yeah, sure, but he's at forty health, so I don't I think much is gonna stop him. Does a uh, yeah. Pretty ten sure it does. Uh, ten damage. Okay. <laughs> you can attack again, probably. A nat 20. <laughs> Alright, so you there do you max go. damage plus rub your roll. So, what was your max damage? Okay, so he is down to that, and now you roll your damage. <laughs> roll your damage. Oh my god. Uh, I, I do Damn. five damage. Okay, well... We failed to kill it before yeah. she could get to it. <laughs> well, who's sending messages? Oh, hang on. I'm just pinning stuff, Ralph. Let me see. I'm just pinning stuff. Oh. Yeah, that's right. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, is that your turn, Sarah? Or do you have, like, a third attack you can do? Uh, third potential. Can I, can I punch it? 
Here, we're gonna see if you can knock it unconscious. You approach it. It is weak. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> What did you do? <laughs> I got a 30 20. <laughs> Alright, so you hit it. Uh, roll for uh, your your punch. Uh, what did my damage go up to? Uh, it's up. Uh, it's yeah. up. Unarmed strength. Unarmed strength. So it's whatever. Um, roll. An unarmed strength is just your strength mod. It's just your strength. I don't think you have enough strength to, uh... Deck uh if if well, you don't... On her character sheet, it says plus three hit DC. Oh. Uh, What's her strength modifier? Strength modifier. Uh, it's plus zero, but it's at ten. So, if it's... if So, the minimum is going to be one. So, you do at least one point of bludgeoning damage. If you have the Tavern Brawler feat, that makes it a D4. Or if you're a monk, that can increase. Well... But, it's but, down to ten. Uh, if you're dealing bludgeoning damage, you can also roll it to be non-lethal. Yeah. Or you can roll any damage as long as it's not a spell to to be non-lethal. Fun fact. Well, he's looking a little woozy, but he's still got ten health left. I can't do anything else. So. All right. It is now. Oh, you better oh. knock it out. Let me. Well, it's now the uh, Nightmare's turn. He didn't appreciate you fighting him like that. Uh, prepare to, uh, should I trampler? Yep, hooves. All right. Okay. Uh, does a, 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 an 18 hit? Yes, it does. He bucks his hooves, the back part, of course. Oh, it's D8s, not D6s. Holy shit. Um, okay. You get, holy cow, uh, you get 16 bludgeoning. Ooh. And then plus, uh, not just that, but there's also fire damage included. Which is how much? Only five. Five more. Five. So 16 plus five, that's going to be, uh, oh my gosh, 21 damage. Ah. Ouch. It's a big horse. It's a big horse. <laughs> it's almost Liam, like, it's your turn. It's almost like uh, right. pure evil. Well, I'm looking. I was originally moving towards the blade with the dagger because I knew we needed a dagger to open it. But I look back and I see Mirlop getting absolutely uh, face smashed by a horse hoof. Yeah, it's going to leave a mark. Uh. <laughs> Why the long face, Sarah? It's a cancer <laughs> builder. <laughs> While I was drinking. <laughs> Alright, what are you doing, um, Austin? Hmm. That kind of alters my plans a little bit. You can do a non-lethal attack against the horse. <laughs> I'm gonna pass on that, because I saw how that went. Um... <laughs> Is there a way I can, like, use my rope dart to, like, ensnare its legs? Or, like, sure, ensnare. I'll allow it. You can do, like, a little tangle attack. Alright. Oh, that rolled off the table. Okay. Uh, I already forgot what the stats on the rope dart were again. Uh, but I'm assuming it's just what I roll plus... Uh, my proficiency bonus, which is a 13. Just barely lands it. Alright. Uh, yeah, you, you throw it like an Indiana Jones movie, and it wraps around one of its hooves, and it's kind of stuck towards you. Alright. Uh, anything else you want to do? Um, can I look over at the dagger? Uh, sure. You look over, and it's on the ground as the would-be intern collapsed from a knockout to the face with, uh, a, uh, improvised weapon. Alright. Do I recognize the dagger? You recognize it, but it looks like it has some modifications to it. It is the soul's dagger you've been looking for. Alright, I'm gonna yell to the others, do not touch that! <laughs> 
but I want to touch it. That's the dagger she dropped. Trust me, do not touch that. Is that your turn? Yes. But it's shiny! <laughs> it's glowing with the power of souls. <laughs> uh, Scarecrow, this one. 15, 20, 25, 30. Prepare yourself, Kristoff. <laughs> Kristoff's just alone by himself. <laughs> Okay, these guys don't do a lot of damage. <laughs> He's getting mauled by Scarecrow. <laughs> is he attacking? In, in what yeah, he's mauled? attempting. <laughs> he's attempting. Get mauled by Does a uh, 19 hit? Um, <laughs> can I use... I'm gonna use my lucky feet and give it disadvantage on the attack roll. Okay. Well, he rolled a nat 20, so... Oh my god! Hit. So it was a 19 hit. <laughs> All right, that's one use of my lucky. All right, yeah, that okay. hits. Um, uh, well, you get uh, six I, damage, I, I, oh. and at the start of your next turn, you're gonna have to do a wisdom saving throw. All right, uh, seven. but he's gonna attack again. All right. Uh, well, that obviously hits because that's a uh, 21. All right. Uh, you get another. 11 damage. Sure. So, um, 17 altogether. Yes. And next turn, you have to do a saving throw. All right. So that's fine. Because you're scared. Okay. All right. Next is the other scarecrow. <laughs> 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He's not in range. Next, another one. So like there's four of these bad boys. All right. Prepare yourself. All right. Oh, shit. Does a 22 hit? Uh, yeah. yeah, it it does. All right. Uh, you get ten damage on the first one. All right. And, oh, he nat twenty, so you get shit. Um. Oh. Kristoff, no. <laughs> Hold you the get, line. Uh, twelve damage plus holy shit, uh, another seven damage. All right. Uh, nineteen. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and that should be it for the uh, scarecrows for a little bit. Um, that horse is dead. Uh, it's now your turn, Kristoff. All right. Revenge. Uh, I'm going to cast. I was gonna hold it, but I have no choice. Um, we're gonna cast Crusader's Mantle. Uh, 38 radius from me. As a bonus action, all my attacks do an extra 1d4 radiant damage. Okay. And then I will do an attack against this scarecrow here. Alright, do it. Uh, uh, does a... This is a 15 hit? Yep. Alright. Uh, let me do... Plus so imagine they lined up to have advantage on you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Forehead uh, yeah. pack tactics. Oh, they don't have pack tactics. I know. The hellhounds do, but... Uh, that's gonna be... Uh, that's gonna be 10 points of slashing plus 2 points of radiant. So, so 12 damage. For this one? Yeah. On the bottom? Okay. So 12 points? Yeah, 12 points. Okay, so that means it has. Boop. Out of. Boop. There we go. Alright, that's my turn. Alright. Hang on, let me just type the rest of these because we're going to be receiving damage on the yeah, turn. Yeah, I can't. I can't stop natural 20s. Yeah, that that's the luckiest I've been of these guys. Uh, Alright. The Construct's turn. Uh, Being breathed alive for the first few moments of his life. He's not sure what to do, as he is confused of what his purpose is. So he is just going to disengage and move a bit away uh, in this area. But he is slow. I'm gonna make a wisdom saving throw. I'm so... Actually, my attack might not have gone through, because I might have been frightened. Uh, you know what? Roll it right now, and we'll I'm just count that for now. I rolled a 19 plus my wisdom is gonna be. You passed. Saving throw is so. Uh, you passed. You're fine. Tw 20. But uh, yeah, Nick, it's your turn again. 
Uh, or Matt. So you know that rope is like going past you, by the way. Yeah, you see the rope that's past you over your shoulder, it's and it's like hooked this. onto the uh, the animal on the hoof. So yeah. Okay. Um, I go pick up the dagger now. <laughs> All right. Um, that was, go over that was here. a joke. Oh, okay. I thought that was a joke. <laughs> Five, ten, fifteen. I guess I'll take out this guy here. Okay. Or at least attempt to. <laughs> sure, go ahead. One sec here. Thing just refreshed on me. All right. Actions. There we go. Um, does a seventeen hit? Uh. No, it barely misses. All right. Uh, I'm assuming a 24 will hit. Yep. All right. So that's gonna be one sec here. That that's uh, it's going to be yeah, 13 cold damage. 13, uh, he freezes to death, and before he freezes to death, he yells, I was just born! His baby and dies. <laughs> Is that your turn, Nick? Uh, yeah, that'll be it. Okay, uh, Aaron, it's your turn. Okay. So we're trying to non-lethally kill, take that down. So it's yeah, because there's a rope tied around its leg. Yeah, it has it has a hard time moving, and prize disadvantage on saving throws. Um, yeah, for you know Sarah's collection, you know, two beetles, a frog, and that is beyond me. Two beetles, a frog, a a weasel. Nick's uh, griffins at her disposal. And ooze in a bottle, by the way, Bob. Oh well, yeah, ooze in a bottle. Gotta catch them all. Yeah, she's got like muck. <laughs> she's about to catch the most gnarly looking rapid ash I've ever known. Yeah, it's a shiny, right? <laughs> um, and and lawful evil. And they're all dead. Mm. Well, well, they've never been born yet, so. Well, I think I am not going to do anything, because... You can do a non-lethal strike on this horse. By throwing a hammer at its head? You throw it lightly, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you lightly <laughs> tossed it. <laughs> Gentle tap I'd... on the head. <laughs> is the throwing hammer stun, or is it, is it the fire? Oh yeah, no, I think that does do stuns. I mean, I can... It's really hard for me to lightly toss something. Well, if you don't feel comfortable with it, that's okay. Uh, yeah. Is that your I don't want to roll like a 19, like a, a 29 <laughs> to hit, and then like 120 damage. Yeah. So... If only I was closer, I would just grapple on top of it. Okay. Well, is that your turn? Yep. All right. Uh, Scarecrow's turn. They start taking damage, right? Uh, no, no. This is uh, just gives me extra damage on, on, on attacks. Oh. You don't have anything okay. that like protects you, or? I mean, I could, <laughs> I I have I I could have cast spiritual guardians, but I wanted to, to use crusaders mantle. I don't know. I always use spiritual. Yeah, let him let him be just, creative, you know. I just wanted to do something. Let him good. cook. Yeah, he's gonna be fine. He's gonna it's just cook, for. He's gonna burn. Yeah, he's gonna. I don't cook car. Well, the uh, scarecrow the... missed. Uh, even with advantage. Oh, the second attack I think hits twenty one. Yeah, it hits. All right. Rick is the die that I need. Take it. We're only. <clears throat> Excuse my. I can only barely see you, to be honest. 
In the distance, you hear a faint fighting. But really, it's just a gangbang. Uh, there we go. Alright. Oh shit. Alright, you take five damage. Alright. And then... I succeed on the con saving throw. Okay, cool. Uh, alright, it is now Taldor's turn. Five damage. In my turn? Yes. A few things are alive still. Well... I look at what I could hit if I were a strong person. And then I look at something that I could potentially interact with, but resources need to be saved. Mm -hmm. Is this supposed to be a hint? I don't know. I'm not clicking on that. Oh. Yeah, that's me. Well, I think I'm just going to sit by and pay attention to this dagger. Do you want to, like, help somebody? What can I help them with? Uh, I don't know. I was just wondering. <laughs> anyway, down there, could, but, like, like, you could cast the a... fireball and think, kill all of them. I think, I think Taldor's help could be helpful. It could be helpful, even if it, you know, a little collateral damage. That's all right. You know, it's a blaze of no, glory. Blaze sure. of glory, baby. Let me, let me get... <laughs> I'm all right with that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I get about there. <laughs> I, 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 and I have lucky, so I can make my save with with advantage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so you'll you have a good chance of only taking half damage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, to put things in perspective, depends on how. Oh. Hang on here. Hang how big on. do you make the fireball? <laughs> big. How big am I making the fireball? How big are you? He could go with the normal, not not, met, not OP staff fireball. All right. Oh, but yeah, where's the fun sure. of that, Aaron? But where's the fun of that? Uh, I'm not gonna use the OP staff. That's for the special occasion. Yeah, sure. that'd, that'd be a waste on you. That's fair. Uh, well, Fireball has a range of 150. I think you have the range. Oh, I know I have the range. It's, uh, let me see. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Alright. I use my, I use my Fire Staff, like before, and I am going to... Cast fireball right, right here. Everybody make a DC save of 16. Fail, fail. You said DC uh, 16. 16. The um, only one who succeeded was this fella right here. I'm going to use the lucky feet to get myself advantage. Okay. Uh, that's DC 15. I rolled... This is a deck save, right? It's a 16, sir. Oh, 16. Um, I made it with a 20. Made All right, cool. Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, Okie doke. Uh, so you take it's rounded up, right? The damage. Sure, I'll allow it. I'm not. Well, I think it's rounded up. Let me check. It's usually Chris, rounded down, it, unless stated other, unless stated otherwise. Uh, if it's rounded down, we should be fair. Just round it down. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, Kristoff, you take 15 points of damage. Oh, I'm still up. They all take 31. Except for the one that's, uh, succeeded, but you everyone else is good. dead. Sweet. That was worth Everyone it. else dies. 
Despite a ball of flame engulfing the entire area, Kristoff stands a little less crispy than expected. Worth it. All right. Uh, is that your turn, Tador? Yes. It is now Sarah's turn. Oh, an opportunity. Yes. You have advantage. The horse is distracted and is tangled. Want to do a non-lethal attack with the bow? All right. Uh, might want to stand back a little bit. <laughs> I'll do it for you. <laughs> so I'm at 18 health. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, roll for your attack. So I just like roll like I would normally. Yeah, with your bow, you're just non-lethally piercing the horse yeah. with your arrow, you know? Not not like an artery, just like, you know, a part of its fat, you know, to make it just yeah. be unconscious like it's shock, you know? I'm guessing a 22 hits. Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll your damage. How much health is, does he have? Is it not showing? Let me no, see. No, no, no. Uh, I mean, I see the the bar, but I don't see how much exactly. Uh, you know what? We'll make this a special uh reveal when you uh tell me what you rolled. A nine. Oh, you just barely make him unconscious. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's ten, but I'll just give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> He passes out due to exhaustion and trying to wrestle with the rope dart and the lady that's trying to make him out to be its child, it collapses. Meet your new mom. It, it finally gives up to the kidnapper and, he and breaks down with, uh, oh, what is it, uh... Stockholm Syndrome? Stockholm. Yeah, Stockholm. Oh, that, <laughs> Thank Stockholm you. Syndrome is if, like, love... Like, you love them. Like, oh, he's you become, you become yeah. interested in them so after being captured. Like, she's going to abuse them, and she's going to love them. Not abuse. Riding a horse is not abuse, okay? Oh, it's my child. Don't give them rights, okay? <laughs> <laughs> is that your turn, uh, Sarah? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> they don't have rights. Everything's provided for them. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just this... make sure to take care of them correctly and put them into work in the mines. Uh, is this your turn? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, he's asleep, so I'll just take him out. Liam, it's your go. Alright, I'm going to pull back the rope dart. Uh, I'm going to erase that line that I drew. I can't erase it for you. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, and I'm going to move over to the dagger. All right, you like to look at it. I'm gonna first kind of inspect it without touching it. You look at the dagger, and you do know that it is the soul's dagger, but it looks like it's been made modified with a number tracker on it and a special grip that makes it, I guess, appear to be safe to hold it. But uh, yeah, the number tracker just tick is at one right now. And as a switch uh, on the thumb part of the grip. I observe the handle and slowly reach and kind of carefully grasp it. You grasp it carefully, and you do feel like there is a living essence in this uh, dagger. A soul, to be exact. It did no. match. It did match the uh, thing on the Power Star plate, but that's been ripped off, and it doesn't work anymore. Um, it has no effect on my mind right now, because of the modifications, right? It looks like it is to be no effect to you, as this dagger now has a new purpose to breed war machines in this factory. Okay, I will stow the dagger. Alright, you have the dagger in your inventory. Anything else you want to do? Uh, I'm going to observe that uh, Taldor was shooting fireballs over in that direction. I'm going to look over and finally notice that uh, what's going on over there. <laughs> okay, um, you look... Sorry. 
J I, uh, James, I, I was gonna use second wind and a second level cure wounds. It's not quite your turn yet. It's just, it's oh, it's, oh wait, hang on. I mean, I it's was, one okay, of the scarecrow. Oh, sorry. I yeah, it's combat. Liam thought, looked over. Oh, I thought combat ha had ended. Sorry. Nope, there's still one guy left, but it's still Liam's turn. Okay, you sorry. were saying, Liam? Uh, there's. Probably don't intend to attack since I interacted with the dagger so much. Um, so it's I'm okay. Gonna, I'm gonna end it with me observing what happened over there. You see a lot of smoldering ash around, but you see that Kristoff is standing. Uh, all right. It is now that guy's dead. It is now the only scarecrow that's alive's turn. He's gonna try and whiff at you. Uh, yeah, I gotta... uh Don't say that. I almost. I was pretty close. Uh, that's it. That's a lie. It wasn't close. Uh, a dirty. No, that's a nightmare. Never mind. <laughs> Let's go to the scarecrow. All right. So the scarecrow does a. Uh, 17 hit. That does, uh, not misses. I have 19 AC. Cool. Oh, he rolled eight. He missed both shots at you. It is now your turn. Um, I did drop my spell. Um, the damage I took was... My con saving throw was under 15 damage, so I dropped that spell. Um, okay. and I will make an attack against that guy. With Do it. my sword. Uh, that's gonna be a... 18 to hit. You succeed. Um, 1d8. Metal die. Uh, that's only going to be 6 slashing damage. Okay. It is uh, now... I uh, would... I'll just use my bonus action. Uh, Wars Priest to get a second attack in. Okay. Bo bonus action. Mark that down. Uh, switch it up with the metal die. Um, 19. That's a successful hit. Let me make this attack. Uh, that's gonna be 11 points of damage. It fairly collapses on the ground as you've killed it. Alright. Alright, uh, I think combat's over. Yeah, I just wanted to get that, get that over with. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. How much damage did you end up taking? A lot. But it was worth it. Totally worth it. I'm gonna heal up. That's alright with you, Rob. Alright, you do that. Because there is no more rest for the rest of this campaign. <laughs> okay. How was it worth it? <laughs> We're totally worth it. <laughs> hey, seeing Taldor, seeing Taldor do cool stuff is always worth it. He oh casted a low level fireball. That was cool. Fireball's fireball. It was cool because it hit me right in my face and I lived. <laughs> Space tank fireball. That is pretty Who needs eyebrows? It's pretty cool. What are the rest of the party goers doing? I'm going to check with Mirror Left who took a horse hook to her face. You alright? I've been better. Been better? Uh, do you got any potions? Nope. Well, uh, I think I have some. Oh, I have exactly one. <laughs> I mean, and short resting is always on the table, too, guys. That's always an option. That's true. True. Uh, short rest might be in order. Uh, Keep pushing forward? Okay, I move to the door. <laughs> I mean, we have Joking. one guy who tanked a fireball, and we have... A ranger at 18 health. Yeah. <laughs> so, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> uh, all right, and uh, uh, Marilith, what are you gonna do with this horse that's unconscious right now? Do you want to like attempt to put it in your sack? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> by God's grace, uh, through each limb. Uh, you actually made it fit inside. Of course, what? your other friends are Jesus very confused Christ. and are scared of this new pal. What kind of bag is that? <laughs> I use for Where do I, I get one? Like... <laughs> it is now inside your pat bag, and your other f creature friends are afraid of it, but they warm up to him as he is literally a flaming horse. Jesus Christ. 
Uh, so Nick, you want to go through that door? Oh, I was just moving over here and all stuff. I wasn't sure what we're doing. Okay. Uh, anything else anyone needs to do before we uh the party continues? I'm going to show everyone the dagger. All right. Speak of its lore. Speak of its legend. Okay. Hold on. Let me you get my have... Let me get my butt over. You all may have recalled the interaction we had at the tower where uh, that one and being could like tell us where a specific weapon was, and I asked about a dagger. This is the dagger. What does it do? Uh, when well, it's only got half of the, its effect right now because of these modifications on it. Uh, originally. You kill someone with this, and their soul becomes ensnared inside the dagger itself. Um, but, and as you can see, they added a way to count it. It says one on it, so I'm assuming that means there's one soul trapped inside. Uh, normally, but thanks to these modifications, it doesn't work, apparently. Uh, normally, if you hold this dagger unmodified, it'll drive you insane. Oh. Mm. And how do you know that? You'll hear you'll hear the voices because I have used it before. Oh, <laughs> I, I um, see. It appears they've drained the other souls out of it, though, and there's only one in there currently, somehow. But oh. this is probably the dagger that opens the thing upstairs. We can probably also use it to uh. Open the door that requires a soul. Yeah. That is true. I I only thought about the slot on the one door. It did say it required a soul, and there's a soul in this dagger. Sure. Yeah. Everyone can short rest. <laughs> How much health does that give me? Uh, that gives like you... It, it depends. How many hit dice do you want to spend? How many hit dice does she what have? She's... Um, she will have. We're level six. No, yeah, we're level six. So she will have. Te she'll have six, ten d, uh, d ten. So you can, so Sarah, you can spend any amount of those d ten that you want. You should spend like three. So three d tens. Yeah. You roll that, and then you regain that much HP. Whatever you roll. Um, I do... Also, do you raise your HP when you leveled up? No, I didn't. I just realized that. Thank you. Oh, oh. I didn't level up, so. You should probably do that. Uh... How do I do For... Fuck, how is this? Um... Beyond work? I can roll for you a, a, three, a three D tens. Unless you're trying to level up your character. I'm trying to level up, and I can't figure out how. Uh, so, what is your, uh, you're a ranger, right? Yes. Does ranger do d10 or d8 it's for their, uh, level it's, ups? It's so, roll, roll a d10. Uh, eight. Eight. And it's plus your con, and that's how much you gain for your, uh, maximum total HP for that level or you know your total HP becomes that How many times, times? one time to increase your health so we so you have a incre increase your base yeah all right so and what's your constitution what's the number on the constitution Constitution. Or C O N uh, con. Plus one constitution for twelve. So you get six HP added okay. to your maximum oh, HP. Okay. Yes. So that's your maximum new maximum. So your your current plus the six and that becomes your new current. We could just write it down for now, and then when the session... I, I figured how to make my max higher. Okay. Now roll the three D10s. Okay. 
because you're spending three out of the, out of the uh, six you have for the hit die for your rest. Okay, so nine. Nine total? Yep, nine total. Oh, wait, well, you the can... zero was a ten. The zero is a ten? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, then, uh... <laughs> uh, 19? 19. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. You gain 19 health. So now, from 18 to, uh... Well, you get the six you got from your max health, so yeah, technically... I'm at 43 out of 45, so I'm good. <laughs> Okay, good. That uh, scared me. You scared me a little. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Well, uh, what do you guys do now? The room is quiet. The conveyor belts have a pretty much halted, as uh, no one's working on them anymore. Should probably either investigate that door down yonder or over there, and uh, I don't okay. Know. Because there, there's this giant thing in the middle of the room. Oh, yes. You can explore that if you like. Sure. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, anyone else doing anything in this room before I get to these two? <laughs> nope. Liam, uh, you're approaching the conveyor belt. Oh, I'm just seeing what's going on over here. Ah. Uh. All right. Well, if no one else is doing anything, Talador, uh, James's character, Kristoff, and Liam, you look, and it looks like a giant uh, pile of uh, trash, but very shiny trash. Like to them, it's trash, but to you, it might be worth something. Do you want to dig your hands into this shiny trash and see what you can get? Oh, absolutely. Sure. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Roll d20s. <laughs> No, I'm using my brother. This is investigation or uh either or uh either or what investigation or perception perception oh yeah. perception well I'm going perception. perception then uh, uh that's a 19 for me I okay 20, I got a 25 holy shit and Taudor oh let me add It is a dirty 20. Okay, we'll start with the lowest. Liam, you dig your hands in there and you realize this is not really trash at all, but a bunch of treasure trove of what they thought was junk, but to you guys it's worth something. And you find yourself uh, a gold ring, a silver ring, a bronze ring, and a simple jewel that is red that can probably be attached to a necklace, become another talisman. It's it's a straight up jewel. Howdor, uh, you found a freaking fancy looking armor with diamond studs all over it. Kristoff, you found literal crown that probably belongs to a king somewhere. It has like a bunch of diamonds on top of it, but you can probably wear it if you want. You know. Uh, hey, Kristoff, want trade? What's that armor looking like? I don't know. It's like a, a diamonds. It's a heavy diamond cha chain chainmail uh, chain uh heavy diamond plated armor. Uh yeah, and I'll take the diamond plate armor. Give me the Here, crown. It is a crown diamond plate armor. I'm is wearing like, the crown. It's, it's got like plus three uh for your uh plus oh. two or three for your AC. It's uh, it's wait. a and the crown uh, the crown is worth like a shit ton of money. Is it um? Is it um? Also... Uh, is it plate armor? You said plate. Right? Yeah, it's plate armor. It's a heavy plate armor. Is it plus three or plus two? Uh, we'll just go with plus three. All right, I am gonna start putting this on. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, it is extremely heavy, so you will lose five speed. That's perfectly fine with me. Uh, Liam, despite only finding the rings, they all do different things. Oh, apart from the gold and silver. The bronze one actually has a special ability. Uh, it actually, uh, uh, it actually camouflages you. Kind of. Like a chameleon. Okay, so it gives camouflage, you... but not invisibility. 
you stand still, no one can see you. Ah, full of tracks, got it. So, just like, it's like, yeah. But when using it, you have to stand still. Plus okay. and plate? Holy shit. Anyone else want to dig into the treasure trove of uh, junk? I will. Okay. What else is in that stash of jewelry that I got? You got three rings. A gold ring, a silver ring, the bronze ring that's a chameleon ring, and then a literal red jewel. Okay. Well, let's talk. Roll and see what you get. Three. Oh, shit. Well, you did find at least a hundred pieces of gold. Okay. <laughs> Rob, I have 23 AC now. Uh, it doesn't matter, because what you're going to be facing next is... Freaking hard. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're gonna need it. <laughs> you might actually survive. I might have trouble actually hitting you now if I yeah. were to ever want to. Uh, anyone else digging I'll into go this? Dig through it. I'd have okay. to roll under 14. All right, Nick, roll and see what you find. Right. Um, one sec here. Try and remember. There's that. Just roll a d20. Yeah, you can roll a d20 with perception or investigation. Oh, okay. So that's uh five plus. I thought we were just rolling it flat out there. My bad. Give me a sec here. Okay, go ahead. You can roll again if you want. Uh, right. uh, you say it was with perception or what else? It could be either perception or investigation. Alright, I'll go with perception here. Uh, it's a dirty 20. Wow, alright. What was the range of your flamer? Uh, that was, uh, 15 feet, I believe? 10 you foot. You found, surprisingly, an attachment to it that can increase it by 10 more feet. Alrighty then. <laughs> I believe sir also wanted yeah. to dig it. Who hasn't digged into it yet? Me. Oh, <laughs> go dig into it. I'm so sorry. Roll your roll D20 plus your either perception or investigation. I got a nat 20. Oh. <laughs> well, what are you looking for in particular in this treasure trove? I don't know. Cool. Do you want like a weapon, an outfit, maybe? An... Okay. Uh... You're probably gonna choose because you rolled a nat twenty. <laughs> uh, well, what do you want? Because you rolled a nat twenty, and this basically has pretty much anything in here. Because uh... for some reason. Do you want something maybe for your new pet? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you find an e you find a special saddle that instantly tames whatever it's placed onto. Just make sure it's unconscious first. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> We're about to right. a fight with a nightmare on our side. Yeah. <laughs> We're allowed yeah. to in. All right. Well. Uh, let's, uh, I guess we can continue next time. I thought you guys were going to kill these guys quickly, but, uh, yeah. Uh, how did you get, like, the session? That was awesome, man. I loved it. I finally did something with the rope dart. Yeah. <laughs> and you found the dagger. And found the dagger, and it didn't dry, it didn't speak to me this time. Um, oh, yeah. John, excellent play with the fireball. And... Nope. That also, the unintentional like moral conundrum for Liam, like, do I help Mirleth or do I go for the dagger? <laughs> yeah. Uh. uh yeah. Fun. Anything I could have done better or? No. Good to me. I it. it was fun. Okay. I got some uh, armor too. And Taldo's looking sick with that crown. Like the king he's meant to be. Soon Damn right. Oh, Lord. Soon he'll rule all of it, all of the Vandergoth territory. 
Or maybe <laughs> more, who knows? He will be the new ruler. <laughs> then I will fight Someone by his side. Someone shoot me before that happens. <laughs> I will fight behind- I will be by his side once more. <laughs> we will conquer those lands, John. We shall. As long as he turns a blind eye to my schemes, oh, I don't mind. Weren't you supposed to, uh, not be genocidal? I'm you... back, baby! <laughs> Look, the stunted armor's corrupted me! We're oh back. yeah, the armor has corrupted me, oh no. We're back. I'm rich, bitch, I don't we're, care about anyone. We're out of retirement now. We're making out of retirement home with this one. All right, I'm gonna that's what, that's uh, what, uh, Taldor said to, to Kristoff when he popped up next to him. <laughs> or after he got, after he gets the crown. Mm. In memes. Yeah, isn't it great to be bedazzled, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs>